Hello and welcome. I am Bavin, teaching .NET at ICD, and the purpose of this video is to learn how do I use a template field in ASP.NET. It allows to change the uh, UI user interface of a particular column. Let's say we have table with the name item details, and to display the content of item details, I just drag the entire table on a form. Oh, sorry. Let's say. I'll select the row and say modify and merge cell. Right. So I'll drag the item details table inside on a page. Okay. I change the behavior. Some classic. Okay. I'll set enable selection as well as enable deleting. change the hundred percentage. Now let's run the application. So whenever we run the application and by default when say is edit, by default whenever we edit a particular record in a grid view control, it display text box which allows us to modify a particular value. Let's say if I want to change the value of a particular column to A and update. So whenever we grid view control, control, control contains various templates. Whenever we click on the edit, its edit item template is visible to the end user. And right now it's only item template. Now our job is to convert a specific text box. So whenever user edit the record, instead of A, B, C appear in text box, you would like to display in a drop down list box. So the purpose is to convert item group into drop down list when user edit record. So do how do we do this? It contains a property with the name edit columns. We'll change item group to the template field. So the moment we click on it, convert to template field, this hyperlink allows us to change the item group into template field. Once we convert this into template field, then within the template we have various templates. Right now it's an item template of column 3 item group while edit this record we have edit item template so I'll remove the text box and set a drop down list box we'll add items in the drop down list box so user can select let's say A I'll add one more element B no more element C D and selected value using the edit items let allow us to add new elements to the drop down list box where edit data binding allow us to select data binding operation item group selected value of item group is mapped to the item group column okay. Okay. and template rating. Right now is an item template. Let's run the application. click on edit so right now we have drop down this box we'll select to the C and update right. so C and okay 
so within the edit templates we define template for the edit item template that's what this is where that's all so that's how we can use template field to change the custom user interface thanks once again from ICT